Right folks, I'm just going to emerge from this wood on the route to the hill fort and it's really really blustery. I'll only be videoing for a minute or so just to capture the, the wind and uh, the noise. And hopefully we can get to the hill fort without getting soaked, although there are some woods with some shelter. Just had an experience about there. I'd seen a young couple with about three or four dogs, and they passed me and they disappeared. I suddenly heard a man's voice shout, and then this beautiful golden collie just seemed to seek me out. It came, and it's, it sat right next to me. Not a lying position, and it just sat there. I seen them looking for him, and I said, come on. He just wanted to, he didn't want to leave me on my own, it was really weird. And uh, anyway, in the end, I, I seen the people, and I, I, I got a picture of him. He just like, didn't want to leave me, he was, he was sat by me, as if to say, oh, you shouldn't be. And uh, I think, well, what, how kind dogs are. Because Maggie's done something similar to that once with somebody when they were walking out in the mud at Weston and she, were, she was really worried about them. Anyway, folks, there's some interesting features. I mean, look at that tree there. How that's been repressed by the wind. Look, almost flattened. Now, it could have been a tall tree once that lost the top and is grown like that. Good place to shelter if there was a storm, but without lightning. Without lightning. This is where the cows and the sheep gather. We'll just go over to it and say hi. Here's the arable land of Shipham and Roborough all around here. Roborough Warren, which I ploughed up a bit into earlier. Um, I'm heading for the hill fort, which I actually videoed and took photos on of from a distance earlier in this walk today and now I'm actually on this side. I managed to get back over here and not do the lower walk so that I could go to the hill fort and back down to Alberta that way. Now much earlier, hour, hour and a half ago, I was over there. There's a yellow bar thing with the hut used by the foresters. There's the first yellow bar that I can see there. I passed under that earlier today after following a track right the way down there towards the pink apple tree cottage. So I went under that. I weaved in and out of that lovely coom of trees there. And uh, I weaved in and out of the trees. Eventually I got back up here. But here's this lovely tree here. A type, of, a type of pine, an old pine tree this is. It was probably much taller. Um, it's a good place to get under if it's just rain, I think. <sighs> I wouldn't want to be up here in a lightning storm. Um, it's, it's going to be very difficult for anyone listening to the video. The odd toad stall about. Faded now, but it's not a tall storm. I'm going to turn off and take a picture of the tree over there. Right, I've reached the hill for it, but it's extremely windy. But I'm going to video it because it's not very many times you can be up here without anyone up here. It's going to be extremely blustery. Earlier, right over there, I pointed it out and from another direction earlier as well. There's a bird feeder. Like Oliver Cromwell's white brim hat. Device. And actually touched the top of that a couple of hours ago. Really, really, I'm nearly getting blown off here. This is Sheila on the 12th of November 2019 on top of Road Barrow Iron Age. And it's really, really, really blowy. I've been up here in the summer months and it's been hot, very hot, I've walked here. This is all part of the 
Hill Fort. I just walked from down that way. I climbed up earlier. And I'm going back down. Today I'm rather than put off like you're at the edge. I'm going right down the top today. I'm just coming over here to point out Western Hill Fort. Right over there. Okay, we've got other hill forts, Cabri Hill Fort. Um, loads of them. Just going to turn off for a minute, take some photos, and I'm going to come back on again when I'm down there. Uh, little features that people like to build things, they don't seem to mind too much. People make little tributes to their loved people, hearts, and uh, cards, and things like that. And there's more people coming now, so. Uh, Somebody's coming so I can't video for long. And the little dog that came to sit by me is back. He's attaching himself to me. I'll put him in a minute, put him on video, but not, not this one. But here we go, there's the bosom of the Iron Age Hill Fort here. Okay, that, and it would lead down to a structure here. I don't know if the Romans were here as well. I need to look it up again all about the Hill Fort actually. I need to look it up again. But it is, um, it's a sacred place. There's the um, church, Roper Church, there next to the manor house. This is the end. This would all be in structures and buildings here. What, what, what I'm on now, this would have been like the big main lookout post and place where the chief would be, I suppose. Head of the, the clan. There we go. And another time I come across them from over there, but I didn't today. But if I get a bus, I walk over this way. From right over there and you can actually see Steep Home right in the distance there out at sea. There's Steep Home and there we've got Breen Down. This dog, the brown dog. Yeah, they've just been. He's come up to me. She was a bit strange, just like the others did. Instead. 